bat first, setting a target. Single. I mean, normally we see otherwise. When a situation is like that, normally teams uh, decide to bat second so they know exactly uh, how many runs to make in how many overs to qualify. But Sami perhaps uh, thought otherwise. All things. Swings it over, four runs, first boundary of the innings. It's time, edge past the third man fielder, can't stop it, four runs. Shot and punished again, this time straight into the dugout of their opponents. That's a statement from Fessel. For the experienced man. Goes big again, goes over the infield, there's a man under it, and what a good catch it is! Faisal Javed Khan will have to depart after that uh, short fireworks. Capital is Jalalabad. And that's a reply from the batsman, Mukhtar Ahmed. Hit straight for the first boundary for the batsman. Just keep on scoring like that. Straight to the man at fine leg in the circle. Batim Shah strikes on the fourth delivery of his spell. Mukhtar Ahmed will have to go. Last delivery of the over coming up. A fielder is coming under the ball and will check it. Two wickets in his first over for Batim Shah. What a start from the man from Afghanistan. Power play done and dusted. 23 for 3 after 3 overs. Pearl Gladiators. Finds the gap on the offside. Beats that point and third man fielder inside the circle. Gets his first boundary. Soheb Maksud. Short ball pulled away and it's a mighty blow into the stands and uh, there are 100 Katariyas dropped by a spectator. Sami who won the toss and opted to bat first. Are you uh, thinking twice? We've got the ball coming this way but it doesn't matter. Yes sir. How do you think uh, your decision to bat first has gone up tak? I think because we have to win and win with a certain amount of runs and if we uh, chasing then we have to score in a couple of balls so by looking at it I will up to bat first. Uh, Ravi welcome back. Thank you and at the moment uh, the play gladiators are you know rebuilding lost three wickets but uh, now once again kickstart re -kick, uh, kick their uh, innings so that they can have a good total to defend be do, uh, work, watching a 10 over tournament this time much closer to the stumps but it's up in the air and taken so Batim Shah's wicket taking luck continues innings inside edge missed the stumps wicket keeper went the wrong way first Scott Edwards didn't stand a chance I mean, doesn't look like the big hit is aimed and will clear the fence. A boundary, welcome boundary for Mehran Khan. At the down strikers in. Straight hit into the fence, four runs. Hit straight again. Long on fielder will only be a spectator. This is a most welcome boundary. For the gladiators, nine gone, 84 for four. The lesser runs he gives, better for him as a batsman. That's not timed too well. Yes, caught. Caught in the deep. Sikandar Raza opens his account in wickets section. Required margin. Swing away. Get six runs. Fifth six of the innings. This time it is Mehran Khan joining the party. Faisal Javed. Again down the track. Last delivery of the innings will bring a single. Going for the second one. Direct it. Is it? So TV Empire will come into action now.
should be out. But more importantly, what does TV Empire think? Well, our opinion doesn't matter. It's his that matters. Now the bales are well in the air. Bat still on the line. Single really? or double? That is the crucial question. It is out. Yes, just one run on the last ball and a run out. So 93 for five after 10 overs of their quota. Pearl Gladiators. How they batted today. Maksud, the top scorer with 36 runs of 24 balls. Faisal Javed opened the innings with a couple of boundaries and a six. Elias could not open that count. Sadiq with nine. Mehran Khan, the last man to get out with 19. Sami, the captain, not out at one. The bowlers, uh, Batim Shah, the pick of the bowlers, three for 14 for him. Bowled a handful of wides, but nonetheless picked up three wickets. Raja Amir and Sikandar Raza also picking up a wicket each. Kayan Budhika was a uh, tad expensive, but uh, didn't really matter in the end. Satveer Singh also giving away 19 runs. So Pearl Gladiators now have scored 93 for 5, and Heat Stormers need to get 94 to win the match and book a place in the semi finals. Sami. Whoa! Dream delivery to start with. Pitching an often middle and then curving away. Sikandar Raza had absolutely no clue about that. Brilliant, brilliant start. Once again, almost a replay of the previous ball. The man behind the stumps, Faisal Javed Khan, is also looking at the bowler in surprise. Look at that. Pitching on often middle. Curving away. Mm. The bat needed another coat of varnish. That's about it. In the air. And Sami finally gets his man. Good catch from Adnan Elias. Gladiators captain strikes in the first over. That's how you do it. Finds the gap on the offside, takes the aerial route, gets his first boundary. First boundary of this innings as well. Time clipped away, man getting under it, Mohammed Sami it is, and oh! Spilled it. He knows how important that catch was for his team's cause. It's time connecting much better is uh, Imraz Rafi gets four more for his team. 13 for one gets a round of applause from the dugout. Hit straight again. Excellent cricketing shot. Back to back boundaries for Rafi. Rafi is singing now very melodiously. A leg slip and a slip in place. But the fielder will take it. Make it number two for Mohammad Sami. Well, that is called uh, turning on the heat to the Heat Stormers. Let's remind you about uh, the scenarios for the semi finals. Heat Stormers, who are batting right now, they just need to win this match to qualify. Pearl Gladiators, the fielding team, need to win the match with a margin of at least 29 runs. And Flying Oryx should pray that gladiators win the match but uh, by a margin of less than 29 runs Sami once again it's time pitching it short and past the mid off fielder pearl gladiators can ill afford such a generosity pushed away oh this could have been dangerous Single given, three overs gone, power play done, 25 for two at the end of three overs. Rafion strike has already hit a, a couple of boundaries. Finds the cap on the leg side, gets another boundary. That for us, like we are facing desert riders. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a good match. Both teams like they are perfect to play, and they have good sides both on. 
Well, so Ravi Kant Singh okay. goes for an interview and a wicket falls once again. 33 for 3. Well, boys are uh, rested up well. Today we had, unfortunately, we are lucky enough to have the rest today. So everyone, they are, they are prepared. Ravi, 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 whenever you go for an interview, at least two wickets fall. The tradition continues. So, happier man, Mehran Khan, got a wicket on the last ball of his spell. It was an LBW. Let's have a look at the replay. The ball pitched outside, little outside the off stump, comes back in. That's plump. Easy decision for the umpire. Fazal goes for one. It's a 3-3 for four now. Down the leg side of the pad. Confusion and a direct hit. So, Scott Edwards will depart. Run out. What? Oh, there you see the throw from the keeper. That's Faisal Javed Khan. Has played enough marbles in his uh, as a kid. Has played plenty of cricket as well. He's 44 years of age. Scott Edwards uh, departs for a duck. It's 34 for 5. And try and hit over the top on the offside. There you see. Shot made and into the stands. Unfortunately, nobody there to take the catch. Still struggling. Ball there. Satwe trying to hit across the line. All of a sudden, Pearl Gladiators are that target of 94 is not looking that small. They just need to win by 29 runs. Looked very, very tough. But now, when the six wickets are down, it's looking very much in their reach. Satveer Singh departs at seven. It's 42 for six. Mohammad Nadeem. Yes, that's wicket number seven. Paul Gladiators. Well, they need to restrict Stormers under 64 runs, which means 20 runs from here on. Will say Tata bye bye to Pearl Gladiators, but they only need three wickets now. What a performance from them! Didn't have a clue where the ball was, and Faisal Javed Khan did not waste any time. Talal stepped out, gone for two, 44 for seven heat stormers, and they've got another 20 runs to do it. will be defended back up, back up, back up. just a single overdone six gone 45 for seven they make six more than 64 runs and even lose the match flying gorex will go to the go to the same is it's high in the air and taken by the wicket keeper Faisal Javed Khan is the star he has hurt himself but hurt oh. The heat stormers more with that brilliant catch. Caught it, but while landing, seems to have jarred his shoulder. There you see the ball coming out of the night sky. Javed follows it, hangs on, and then possibly hurt his shoulder while rolling over. But uh, doesn't look too bad. A quick spray. So Batim Shah comes and goes. Gone for one, 45 for eight, heat stormers. Pulled away. This is maximum. Yes, it is. One of the longest sixes today. Much a required boundary for heat stormers. And the Gayan Bodhika. Last delivery of this over. Dances down. High in the air. Two men getting under it. And this time, no mistake by Mukhtar. <laughs> that is still more drama left. That is the key. Last pair in the middle. Yes, yes, yes. Out of is it? Is it over? Yeah. Oh, drop! My God! Another twist in the tail. A dropped catch. Had that been taken? And then the third run. Wicket keeper is asking. Mujhe ball do. It's 60 for 9. A 6 from here on will seal the doors. Doors for Pearl Gladiators. If the earth could open up, 
Philip Joseph would definitely like to dive in. Philip Joseph, the man who came under the ball. Easy catches, two attempts, missed it. And then the throw at the non striker's end was not collected by Nadim. Backup not there, and there again the ball coming in, but at the wrong end. Oh, there goes the chance for the gladiators. That boundary will do it. So Flying Oryx players must be jumping with joy now. It's Bhangra time in the camp of Flying Oryx, provided Stormers do not win this match. Okay, one more run required. We have been updated. One more run. And that is going to do it for the Gladiators. So, Pearl Gladiators. Uh, so, Flying Oryx have uh, started unpacking their bags and uh, cleaning their bats. Absolutely, Ravi, because 29 runs are gettable but very, very tough for the last pair of 13 deliveries. If they get it, well, kudos to them. They will reach the semi finals. If Heat Stormers lose from here on, both the teams are out. Flying Oryx will play the semis. Can you believe that? A boundary. Stormers are still in the hunt. Part of the semi finals. Hit straight into the stands. Stormers are still very much alive in the game. A couple of more sixes and it's very much alive. Oh, it's over. It is over for the Heat Stormers. It is over for the Pearl Gladiators. And it is Flying Oryx. The team that lost today will play tomorrow in the semi-finals. Can you believe that? Gladiators have won the game by 15 runs. So Flying Oryx reach the semi-finals. So we have the, the latest info for you. Flying Oryx will play Swift Gallopers in the second semi-finals. Can you believe that? Can you believe this suspense, this drama? Gladiators won the game, but it is not good enough to take them to the semi-finals. They could have reached had Philip Joseph taken that catch. This is how the Heat Stormers was finished 78 all out in 8.4 overs 27 for Rafi and 18 for Am Amir look at those figures Philip Joseph took three wickets dropped one catch dropped the match but excellent figures uh, by Mohammad Sami two overs nine runs and two wickets Mehran Khan also took two wickets was a bit expensive that's a summary Pearl Gladiators made 93. Heat Stormers were all out at 78. Gladiators win the match by 15 runs. But both the teams knocked out from the league stage.